he is risen. What a glorious and amazing day today. And thank each and every one of you for watching this video because it's extremely important. It's extremely important, especially what's going on in the world right now. And I just want to first and foremost give all of my thanks, my love to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for allowing me to be here this day, for allowing you to be this here this day, for allowing us to be here this day. So I'm going to go to the Word. I'm going to go to the Holy Bible about this day. We just had Good Friday. We just had Good Friday. We had Palm Sunday. Good Friday is when Jesus took it to the cross and died for all of our sins. All of them, past, present, and future. He bore the weight of the world, the brunt of the world, on his shoulders, from the hands to the legs to the side, up here in the head, everything, the blood of Jesus Christ. And I'm going to come from the Gospel of Matthew. It's not going to be long, but very, very profound. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 6, and it reads, He is not here, for he is risen. As he said, come, see the place where the Lord lay. Thomas didn't believe. Didn't believe. But many believed because they knew him and they walked with him. Just like us, we are walking if we choose to walk with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So what does this day mean to me? This means that we stop, we pause, we pray, we give God the glory. Not just this day, but every day, but specifically this day. And on this day, we think about what he done, what he's done, what he's doing, because he is still here. He is real. He is real. God is real. And when you believe in him, knowing that he died on the cross and rose from the grave and rose from the dead, he defeated death on the third day. You love him. You give him. You praise him. You honor him. Lord of Lord, kings of kings. We will all have everlasting life. It seems like an easy thing to do. But it's not. There's only one in this world. One has ever, ever been perfect. Always and forever will be. None of us will never be perfect. None of us will ever be Jesus Christ, but we can be Christ-like. We are all disciples if we choose to. He walked with the 12, but we can pick up. We can pick up the gospel. Matthew, we can pick it up on one verse, say that, and we believe he is risen. This is just not a meme. This is just not an image. This is not that. This is not a picture. No, this is real. And it's the belief. Anybody can say that. But will we believe that? And we're facing a world right now where there's a lot of pagan things that are happening. There's this Easter bunny, these eggs, all ritualistic, all pagan. You look it up. Don't take my word for it. Look it up. And this is why I'm not taking my son out there for Easter egg hunting, because I know what that is. I've never seen a rabbit lay an egg, ever. Pain that no, none of that. So why do we celebrate this day? Why do we honor this day? Why is this day is so sacred? It's because... He is the one, the truth, the way, and the life. And whoever believes in him should go to glory. Go to glory. We're in this world right now where there is a lot of negativity. There is a lot of hate. There's a lot of mischief. There's a lot of exposing. There's, there's a lot of that going on. But let's lock in. Let's lock in on Resurrection Sunday. Let's lock in on Easter Sunday. 
Not about putting on your Sunday's best. You see, I'm oorah, super fi. It's not, it's not about that. We should always bring our best, but not to be about us. Not to be about us, but be in remembrance of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He says, be in remembrance of me. So when we go through our day, when we go through our Resurrection Sunday, our, our Easter Sunday, or our day to day, every day, stop, pause, pray, give thanks. Because God could have wiped out all of us just like that. It's a blessing to be here. It's an honor to be here. And the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate in anyone who's Christ-like and a believer is to bring more to Jesus Christ, to be obedient to the word, to hold ourselves accountable to the word. Are you holding yourself accountable to the word? Are you surrounding yourself with more believers? Are you surrounding yourself with evil doers? Are you buying into the evil? Are you buying into the good? Are you on team Satan? Or are you on team Jesus? There's a fence. The Bible says, don't be lukewarm. I'll spew you out of my mouth. But you have this side of the fence. You have this side of the fence. On this side, you have team Lucifer. And demonic spirits, there's a lot of things that's out there that's demonic right now. But on this side, you have team Jesus. Look what I'm doing. For narrow is the gate. It's only the few, not saying the few, the few, the proud, the Marines, but the few. Only a few will get through. We can beg, we can plead, we can put out the word, we can be messengers to our family and friends, but they will have to pick it up and receive it. Are you receiving this word today? Think about all of these pastors and bishops and all. Man, there are false prophets out there. I am not ordained. I go strictly from the Bible and my thoughts. And if something's not on point, I'm out. If something just don't fit with the word, align with the word, what I'm reading in the word and question everything. If you have a question about it, go look it up. The word from the beginning to the end has always been the same. Do not add to, do not take away, but a lot of people will add to and take away. No, the word is the word. I'm reading from the King James Version. So on this day, I thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. I appreciate you for your belief in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And let's come to him. So I'm going to say a quick prayer for all of you out there. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day that you've given us and this day that is so sacred and so monumental, Resurrection Sunday. Let us know why this day exists. Let us give you all the praise and the glory, no matter what. And for those out there that don't believe, give them the strength, give them the courage to believe in you. You are the way, the truth, and the life. And the only way to get to the Father it's through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you. Have the most amazing Resurrection Easter Sunday.